Well, it's time now for our international press review, and for that I'm joined on set by France 24's Diptika Laurent. Hi, Dipti. Hi, Hexi. Uh, you're starting with an article you found from the Washington Post. That's right. The Post today is looking at how coronavirus is uh, putting at risk Africa's indispensable healthcare workforce, according to the World Health Organization. Inf infections among medical workers has gone up 203% in just the past month, Hexi, despite initially being very aggressive in, uh, in, um, in treating the virus, there's now been a spike in community transmission and a drop in access to protective gear. It's a very dangerous situation um, for medical teams that are already overstretched on the continent. Doctors, for example, in Nigeria have now gone on strike, demanding better conditions, while nurses uh, in Cameroon continue to work despite the risk of being infected or being infected because they simply can't afford not to work. So it's a very dire situation. Africa is disproportionately, um, has a disproportionately small number of coronavirus cases, but uh, doctors are warning that it could stick around on the continent much like malaria did. Now you've also been taking a look at the British papers today. Pretty much every single newspaper <laughs> focusing on rather chaotic scenes on the Dorset coast. That's right. The UK was um, sweltering under a heat wave uh, yesterday. Many defied social distancing restrictions to head to the beach, as Metro says on its front page there. Where isn't Wally in this picture? Police were called uh, in to maintain order. Uh, the Daily Mirror says boiling point uh, with fears of a second wave of coronavirus now because indeed thousands of people packed the beaches. The health secretary has even warned now that um, he could close the beaches if the situation continues with the city of Burnmouth uh, declaring a major incident yesterday. Roads were gridlocked and, and uh, beachgoers left uh, apparently 33 tonnes of waste along the coastline which had to be cleaned up. So it was kind of a chaotic situation in every sense of the word. Now, staying in the UK at Dipti, it only took them three decades, but Liverpool are once again uh, the champions of the Premier League. Yeah, and they didn't really even have to play a match uh, in in the last in the last couple of in the last weeks after winning the Champions League in 2019. The Reds have finally gotten the title that escaped them for three decades. They're Premier League champions now as well. A title, uh, as I said, they earned without even playing because of their points lead. Uh, Liverpool finished top of the table after Manchester City lost to Chelsea. Cup idols, that's what the Daily Express says in reference to the most renowned supporter stand at Anfield. Now, uh, NASA has honoured Mary Jackson, who's the Institute's first female black engineer. Tell us more. Yeah, she was immortalised in the 2016 film Hidden Figures. I'm not sure if you've seen the film, Haxi. Um, uh, she was a mathematician who became the first female uh, black engineer at NASA in 1958. She went on to play a crucial role in helping US astronauts reach space. NPR reporting that NASA's Washington headquarters will now bear her name to honour her contributions to the agency. Now, you're ending with yet another story uh, from NASA, this time a little less savoury. Yeah, it's not every day we get two NASA stories in a <laughs> row. Um, the agency is, uh, of course, has been planning a return to the moon. Uh, and in, in anticipation of that, they've launched a new competition to solve one of the biggest obstacles for astronauts, how to poop in space. Uh, the Lunar Lou Challenge is calling <laughs> on brilliant minds to design a space toilet that can, among other things, flush five. 500 grams of diarrhea. It has to be quiet, uh, it has to be easy to clean, and it has to accommodate the waste of two astronauts for a fortnight. As this website notes, Apollo era astronauts famously hated their toilet system, which was basically a plastic bag stuck to their butts. <laughs> I'll get my thinking cap on. Duty Colon uh, with our international press review. Thank you very much.